Well, good morning, Downsview. It's Monday morning. Glorious, beautiful day out here. Temperatures turning just a little bit. Perhaps we are going to see a little little taste of summer in this next few days. One of the great things from uh, this morning is I'm just remembering last night our wonderful time together as God's people at Downsview with our uh, Zoom congregational connection. We talked about uh, sharing the truths of Scripture as we've seen them in, in music in particular. And the, the time of sharing some of our favorite songs and our favorite lines from those songs and how they connect to the Scripture and how those things connected to our hearts and our lives over the years and particularly even nowadays during these difficult times it was really, really encouraging time. And I want to thank you for doing that. I want to thank those of you who came and uh, encourage the rest of you if you'd like to come. Uh, Sunday nights at 6 o'clock, just email me. We'll send you the Zoom link. But it's good to see people's faces as well as people's uh, hear their voices and uh, hear us share something of God's kindness uh, in particular as we've uh, shared it through music. William Cooper was a hymn writer who actually lived with John Newton. John Newton, of course, was a pastor and theologian and hymn writer, the author of the hymn Amazing Grace. Minda and Ranillo were mentioning Amazing Grace last night. But one of the songs from William Cooper that is perhaps not as well known is a, a, a song called God Moves in Mysterious Ways. And one of the lines is his wonders to perform. He stamps his foot upon the sea and rides upon the storm. Fresh courage. He speaks about sinners taking. He says this line, the clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and will break with mercy on your head. And when he talks about God moving in mysterious ways, what he means is that Things like clouds that we often dread, uh, the idea of, you know, a rain cloud is coming or a dark cloud is hanging over someone's life differently than the sunshine that, that we see on a day like today, is that God can still move in those ways. God can deliver us from difficult times. God can care for us in ways that we are kind of surprised. I was reading in Psalm 25 this morning, and verse 8, speaking of God's ways, Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. In Psalm 73, on Sunday morning, we saw that God doesn't meet us with punishment in our sin as his people. He meets us with, meets us with counsel. You, you guide me with your counsel. You, you lead me with your words of instruction. The psalmist in verse 9 here of Psalm 25, he leads the humble in what is right. And teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. I'm relating that interestingly to part of our reading through the scriptures. This morning we were in Judges chapter 7, which is the well known story of Gideon. Gideon, of course, being one of the judges of, of Israel and one of the men that God would use to deliver Israel from some of their enemies. And this morning it had such a God teaching us his ways, but nevertheless, as Cooper would say, mysterious ways that he took so many of the people of Israel, the at least the army of Israel, to go up against those foes who were coming against them. And God had made it really made it really clear that God was going to deliver them in a way that really put his grace on display. And the way he did that was he said, take them down to the water. And he said, the men that pick up the water in their hands and drink it, you dismiss them. But the ones who kneel down and lap like a dog, which is a funny <laughs> picture to consider. He said, those are the ones I'm going to use. And again, he had thousands of men and he ended up with hundreds to go up against these enemies of Israel. And God, of course, delivered them. But if you remember the story that the, the night before this battle was to take place, the people of Israel there, the, the advanced spies, if you will, go in and listen to the camp of their enemies. And he hears them talking about a dream that one man had had. And he said, uh, you know, I, I had this dream that uh, this great big uh, barley cake uh, came rolling through our 
our uh, our camp and it destroyed tents and knocked over all of our equipment and and it was just laid havoc to our our established camp and his buddy says oh really well this must be none other than the lord of uh, you know the lord using his servant gideon uh the servant of the lord to come and destroy us and you think what are you talking about? <laughs> you have some dream about some uh, loaf come rolling in through you and you're finding yourself saying, that's what, uh, <laughs> that must be Gideon. And you just go, listen, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. And not only so mysterious was it that the folks are already afraid the day before, the night before, they're going to go into their, uh, their difficult time and their, their uh, tremendous battle that's before them. But, of course, God actually uh, just uses the sound of the horns and the sound of the clanging of the armor and the, the shouts of the people of Israel and their enemies just actually start killing each other and they go running off and Israel eventually pursues them. They didn't have to do one thing except trust the Lord and watch Him work. Boy, that's a great, great thought for a Monday as this pandemic is starting to turn a bit of a corner that just stand back down to you and watch the Lord work. Just watch how his mysterious ways will teach us of his ways. That's how he works. And we've been praying a number of times, in particular, my wife and I, as we pray in the evening for God to just raise his sovereign hand and remove this scourge of pandemic from our land and do it in such a way, Lord, that it is crystal clear that it is all of your grace, that that's how it happened, that people don't just think it had to do with physical distancing, that people don't think it just had to do with people wearing masks, that people don't think it just is, oh, the solution is we just had to wait it out. Oh, the reason, you know, time will will take care of this, that, that you know, time will show that, no, 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 time and such don't have any power at all. It is God who works in his time the Lord of heaven and earth, the Lord of time and space, the Lord Jesus who rules and reigns over this earth and does it again in such a way that we can look out on a glorious morning of, of sunshine and, and hopefulness. Uh, it seems that uh, you know our government is going to give some kind of announcement in the next day or so that we're slowly, uh, slowly coming back, uh, opening our economy in the next number of weeks, perhaps um, uh, some aspects of it in in the coming days uh, the, the caution that we still have to maintain is just a, a caution not so much from a worldly standpoint but from us as, as Christians to just say look let's just be patient and watch God work in his timing in his mysterious way and whatever God is continuing to teach us as the church as Downsview Baptist Church in particular as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ May we, as Psalm 25 says, be taught his ways and that what is really clear from this time that we've had is that God's people really do want to simply continue to stand back and watch him work. Have a wonderful day in the Lord today, Downsby. Cheers.